Alright guys, we're back. We took him out. Oh my god. We did it. I don't know how, but we did it. That was so freaking hard. This was probably like my freaking eighth try at least. And we have the sunset statue. Well, that was a tough battle, but we did it. And I'm proud of ourselves, guys. What's in here? Some Ravalor! Alright, well... Let's go. I think we're done in here, for the most part. Hmm. That was faster than I'd anticipated. Oh? know that voice. It's Chester! I had every confidence you'd make it back alive. And with the statue, no less. I must admit, I'm impressed. Now, hand them over. Both of them. Don't play dumb with me, either. I know you're the one who defeated that creature in the quarry. Ah, oh, you bastard. Chester, don't! Elena! Elena? Dogie? You shouldn't be here. Why have you come? Sister Nell told us that Adol had come here to look for Father Pierre. Toby had just returned and was going to follow him, so I came too. Ugh. No end of trouble, I swear. Freezing my ass off climbing the Elder Mountains with monsters all around me and no equipment worth a damn. So I go back to town to regroup and try again. And what do I hear? The mayor's been hurt and Adol's off the ruins. And Chester, you've been missing for six months? What the hell, man? <laughs> Chester I don't mind that you've become one of Count Maguire's knights No matter what people say you've done You're still my brother If you're truly following your heart I would never stand in your way But Why? Why are you doing this? Why would you kidnap a priest? Or try to hurt at all. I don't know, maybe because he's weird. And uh, how come you never contacted me, even just to let me know you were still alive? Hmm. Are you done? I left town because I found the menial existence offered me there to be utterly repugnant. I wasn't thrilled at the prospect of babysitting you for the rest of my life either. Eleanor. What? I thought that if I became one of Maguire's knights, I could move up in the world and make something of myself. As opposed to living a peasant's existence in some backwater town, biding my time until I die of boredom. It was all dragging me down, Eleanor. Living life in a place where nothing matters is the height of tedium. Wow, that's cold, dude. Not just one element of it, either. But every part of every day, you, the town, my past, everything, all meaningless. What? What are you saying? He's saying Chester, he's crazy. you son of a bitch! Yeah, you can tell him, Dogie. What the hell is wrong with you? I could ask the same thing. You have no right to feel indignant, Dogie. 
I simply chose the same path in life as you. Oh, he's got you right there. Or have you conveniently forgotten that you abandoned Redmont on a whim eight years ago? I... Ugh. None of us are children anymore. Keep your statues, Claire. I'm sure they'll be safest in your care. Yeah, he was the top number. As I said, I became one of Count Maguire's knights to rid myself of my past. That includes you, don't you? You are no longer a part of my life. I suggest you forget about me and move along. Get in my way and you'll be very, very sorry. If you guys are hearing some static noise in the volume, the uh, I'll, I'll try and fix that during the next part. I just... I mean, what can Chester possibly be thinking? Mayor, I hate to say this, but we have larger concerns at the moment. The closure of the quarry is bad enough, but to threaten a priest on top of it all... Chester's a factor, yes, but I think our first priority should be McGuire. Yes. You're right, of course. Bishop Nicholas, do you have any inkling as to what Count McGuire may be after? I'm afraid not. But then, he's never been one to talk openly about his affairs. His wife and their two children attend morning mass without him always. I do find it hard to believe, though, that he'd try and claim authority beyond that of the church. What would you suggest we do about Father Pierre, then? As head of the Felgana Diocese, it is my duty to oversee the well-being of all members of the clergy. When I return to the castle, I intend to have a talk with the Count. Fear not. I should be able to secure Father Pierre's release. Much obliged on that. I'll leave Father Pierre to you, then. Thank you. I must say, though, I am a bit concerned about these statues Count Maguire has Chester searching for. May we see the two you've found thus far, Adolf? Adol so produced the statues from his pack. Interesting. Hmm. And very unique. They do look very cool. So, the big critters were guarding these? Hmm. I sense an unusual power from within them. It's possible there may be a link between these statues and the recent monster appearances. What? How do you figure? Well, this is pure conjecture on my part. But these two come from the quarry and the ruins, both of which seem to be hotbeds for monster activity as of late. And each was guarded by a large creature of unusual strength. Does that not strike you as more than mere coincidence? No, this is a normal day for me. Hmm. You may be right. And if that's the case, we'd be especially foolish to let the Count get his hands on them. I think we should safeguard them until we know exactly what's happening. Yeah, I know, I agree. Leave them in my pack and they'll be safe. What's wrong, Dewey? No, oh, nothing. I just get the feeling I've seen these statues somewhere before. What? Come on, out with it, Dewey. I'm thinking, <laughs> I I'm thinking. It's not like this was just yesterday. It was down inside the old abandoned mine, if I recall correctly. There was a mural painted on the wall. Abandoned mine? It's an old, deep section of the Tigre Quarry that we exhausted long ago. Been closed off ever since. We found a really ornate mural painted on one of the walls there. Can't even imagine how old it was. But if memory serves, it depicted four statues that looked an awful lot like the ones we've got here. Could there really be a connection? Hmm. I assume so. Well. All right. All right. So we have two and need two. Hey, Adam. Let's say we split our efforts. I think I have an idea. I'll get my stuff together and return to the Elder Mountains while you head to the abandoned mine. Ah, you intend to see Berhardt? Yeah, the old master. He knows more oh, about Felgana's legends and folklore than anyone else, so he can probably fill in some of the blanks. Plus, you might know something about Chester's situation. 
He was Chester's master too, after all. He might have some idea why that idiot's been acting like such a jackass. I'll speak with Chester directly at the castle. He may be more likely to grant Father Pierre's release than McGuire. I'll also see if I can learn anything pertinent about the statues while I'm there. Sounds like a plan. Hope you can talk your way through that thick skull of his. Adolf, I'll catch you later. Good luck in the abandoned mine. Don't get yourself killed without me, you got it? If you have a chance, too, be sure to check in on Elena. I feel so bad for her. Poor kid. Let's make sure we get this all sorted out. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Adol. The entrance to the abandoned mine is next to the quarry store. I'll go on yeah, ahead and get... Are you monsters aside? Remember the qu It won't be a problem. I'll bring Paul and Ricardo for manpower. And we'll... Got it, Adol? Where we'll be, so... Alright, well, let's talk to him again. Investigating the old mines as thoroughly as you need to will be no easy task. It's not much, but please take this. 20 level ore, yay! Fine mess we've got here in Felgana, no? Chester's the big shocker for me. He's had a dignified air about him ever since he was a child. But we always suspected that he yeah, might be the son of a nobleman or some himself. such thing. But there's Pretty nothing weird. noble about McGuire. Dogie, on the other hand, was a total mess as a child. And look at him now. <laughs> Though I suppose I can't really compare since I know nothing at all about Chester's life before Redmond. The events of his distant past could hold the missing puzzle piece that gives valid context to all his actions. True, true. But then, what do I know? The more I think about it, the more I realize just how pointless it is to think about it. I'm uninvolved in the proceedings and have no skills to contribute to them. But you do, so I'd like you to have this. I only have 12 more Ravalor. We often find pieces of Ravala on the floor during cleanup. Dragged in on the miner's shoes. It's not much, but I really, it's about the only thing I can do to help. No, I'm not allowed. Thank you. Um, and now we're going to go to church for something. Then I have a scene at the church. Talk to the mom. Almighty God, please deliver me from temptation. Guide my path straight and true, and grant mercy upon the innocent. Lord, I... Adol? I I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. I was in the middle of my prayers. That's all right. Continue. If you're here to keep me apprised of things, I'm afraid you're too late. Bishop Nicholas has already filled me in. The situation certainly has gotten quite out of hand. I simply don't understand why the Count would take Father Pierre prisoner. I hope no harm him. comes to him. And Chester, how could he commit such vile acts? He's crazy too. I'm sorry, please excuse me. I lost my composure for a moment. You need to be very careful out there, Adol. Something is happening to Felgana. Something most unholy. I can feel it. I can see it. Welcome. That's the one you want? Thank you. And That's the one you thank you. thank you. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Right, let's equip those. That's the full set. The third set of armor. I'm gonna get a temple. 
What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. This the one? Good to go. This the one? This the one? This the one? Good to go. Gonna need more than... Come again. That's good. Thank you very much, sir. All right. And I'm going to turn on my... Um, we're going to... Leave. Adult, please wait! Hey. I know that voice. Alama? Thank goodness I, I caught you. I wanted to apologize. For what Chester did, I mean. I know it's little comfort, but he's my brother, and I felt I should give you something as an apology on his behalf. The wind tells me. It's a family heirloom of sorts. Adoptive family heirloom, anyway. Full of spiritual energy. Supposedly, if you envision one of the old travel monuments while stroking its feathers, you'll be sent right there. Think of it as a very useful good luck charm. Oh, well, will do. As for oh, me, lady. I'll be alright. I know you will, because you're awesome. I've been contemplating all the horrible things my brother's been doing. And I know I should be angry with them, and I am. Don't get me wrong. But no matter what, He's still my brother. I'll always love him just the same. He's the only true family I have. Yeah, but he's kind of a douche. So, just saying. like I said, I'll be alright. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I just know that I want all this to stop. He's putting himself and everyone else in such danger. Oh, at all. If you see my brother again on your travels, would you please tell him something for me? Oh. Don't go out of your way to find him, of course. I just tell him I said thank you for the. Adol silently nodded his consent. I appreciate it, Adol. I'm such a mess. Ryan doesn't help anything. You're headed to the abandoned mine, right? Please. Be extra careful for me, okay? I'll try. Right, so now the wind tries to let us uh, teleport to the places we have saved. But I'm gonna go side press on the other one. Up again. Sleeping, maybe? Or off somewhere, frolicking away? Hmm. What, so this is my fault now? Uh, you look pretty faded. Probably is your fault. 
He shouldn't have been out of the castle unattended in the first place. Um, hello, sir. I'm sorry to bother you at random, but have you seen a little boy around here by any chance? A boy in formal attire. Adol considered the question for a moment, then shook his head. Oh, okay. Thanks anyway. I just don't know what to do. That poor boy is out there, all alone. You, sir, you appear to be a traveling swordsman, are you not? Yes, I am. Do you want to kiss me? If you should come across a young boy in your travels, would you be so kind as to escort him back to this castle? Oh, thank you very much, sir. You're very kind. The young master seems to have slipped past the guards and is likely lost and alone. Anything you can do to find him and confirm his safe? That would be something expensive. I'm getting both from um, my, uh, my book. Alright, so, as you know, we have a lot of nice things. We work to the Elborn Grimes. Adol told the boy that a maid from the castle had been looking for him, and had asked Adol to bring him home. Oh, really? After I followed father all this way, seems a shame to go back now. Hmm, all right. If I resist, I'll just get in more trouble. You may escort me back to the castle, and thank you. No problem. All right. So this boy has his own HP. If you've forgotten your way, the cast I'll fuck. I know that's it. Okay. And we can't tell him that it's a failure. And we can't let it die. So walk to it. Oh, it die. about. Please, try to listen. Do you know how upset I would be if anything were to happen to you? Fran, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see where Father was going. He never plays with us anymore. I barely even see him. You were chasing after the Count, then. Oh, I understand. <sighs> well, at least he's back safe and sound. You just literally saved my neck. Really now? If you hadn't been goofing off on the job, this never would have happened in the first place. Fine, fine. I'll admit it. I should have been more careful. Anyway, we shouldn't keep the Lady of the Manor waiting, right? 
She's been rather worried herself, after all. Hmm. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Adol, I believe my lady would wish to thank you personally. If you've the time to spare. Please, won't you join us inside? Sure, why not? I want to see the inside of the castle. I never noticed Adol actually has different clothes on than he did when he first started. Right? I can't really have noticed that. You guys notice that? He does have different clothes on. And if I put this on now, you can see it's like a blue. If I put this on, you can see it's different. That's awesome. Presenting the Lady of the Castle. You are the swordsman who brought my son home, are you not? Yes, my lady. From the bottom of my heart, I give you my thanks. Oh, neat! His hair is so red. It looks like his head is on fire. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's his name? Your hair is so purpley pink, it looks like purpley pink cotton candy. That. Oh, right. I forgot to ask. Of course you did. My name is Elizabetta. I am betrothed to Count Maguire, the lord of this land. These are our children, Alice and Christoph. May I have your name? Adol politely introduced himself. Master Adol, then. By your hand, my son has been safely returned to my care. I haven't the words to express my appreciation, but please. Small token. Argite's brooch. I, I should mention this quest is missable, so if you don't do it now, before you go to the mines. <laughs> I've never seen an adventurer before. You're really handsome. Thank you. I'm sure you must have all sorts of stories to tell. Yes, I'd like to hear some tales of adventure as well. It seems you've piqued their curiosity. And mine as well, I must admit. Might you be willing to join us for dinner, Master Adol? My children seem to have taken quite a shining to you. My Lady Elizabetta, may I inquire I as to what you are doing? Um, Mr. Stoddart. Chester! Chester. Good afternoon, Master Christoph, Mistress Elise. Sir Stoddard. It is excellent that Master Christoph has been found. However, we cannot allow suspicious individuals in the castle. This man saved my son. I feel that we should accord him our trust, lest we... Count Maguire has deferred the castle's security and offensive duties to me, milady. Please understand, I am only doing what I must to fulfill those duties. Very well. You may proceed. Have you lost your mind? You what? would dare show your face here after what transpired in the ruins? I suggest uh, you I get out of here before Lord Maguire sees you. Alright, what is this last thing to do for that?